we've all come down to the allotment it's sunday the first of november already um so we've come down with a couple of jobs we're going to pick the squash um, and i'll probably pick some um, chard as well um, and just have a little look it's changed quite a lot since last time i came down um, so we've got got in the front we've got our um, onions that we put in onion sets so they're not going to come up for quite a while yet but back here this bed of chard's doing really well quite big there's lots to harvest in here so we'll get get lots of that um, and we've got more chard over the other side so we've got two beds over there there's lots to harvest in there as well so we can start start eating that um, this bed's pretty much gone so I'm gonna reuse this bed for um, some more onions um, we've got all our squash all the squash plants have really died back since last time we came down see this was all sort of covered before wasn't it um, so yeah so they've all really died off which makes it a lot easier to harvest so we're gonna harvest all these lovely big squash clean them up and we'll be able to see them all now um, and we'll put up all these vines so all these lovely squash we're finding I didn't know that one was there another one over here the beans look like they've they're pretty much done there's a few beans on there so I'll harvest those um, and we'll start pulling those up there's a squash back here um, yeah and I noticed the um, kale I planted over here in this bed is all coming up so it's, it's doing quite well so it won't be too long before we can have some sort of small small leaves just little micro green kale so we'll start harvesting that um, and then in this bed the potatoes these are just um, potatoes that had sort of started sprouting in the that we'd ones with the supermarket ones there's, you can see them sprouting so there's lots of those so we might actually have them in winter um, and we've got the chard over here the potatoes at the end aren't aren't doing anything yet but hopefully they might do something in spring and if not I'll replant the beds but yeah lots to harvest and uh, Lots to tidy now, so I'll get on and harvest these squash and I'll show you how many we get. We've harvested the rest of the uh, butternut squash, so we've got um, what nine here. We already picked two that were probably this sort of size at home, and we've eaten one, um, but these are the rest. Um, so, a really good harvest. These are huge, these ones. Much the shop ones are probably this sort of size we normally buy, but these two are, are massive. So I'm really happy with them. These two have got some holes in them, so I think I swear they're split where they've either been too dry or too wet or something. So I'm gonna cut them open now like when we get home and we'll see if they're any good inside. Um, worth a go. Um, and the rest we'll put on the windowsill, a little bit of green on some of them, but they're, they're pretty good. These two are, are pretty much okay. So yeah, I'll put them on the windowsill and they'll, um, they'll sit there until they're ready to eat. That's really good keep them for a few weeks can't eat that much squash in one week so uh, that's cool and we picked the last of the uh, green beans little dwarf beans so i've got another little handful so i'm happy with that we've also pulled up a lot of the um, squash vines so it's cleared this path up loads and these beds these had the sweet corn in so we pulled the sweet corn up i still need to give them a good weed um, and i'll fill them up with some compost another day um and the two at the back because this one had um four squash plants in so that's that's all clear now um we've harvested these beans so i'll probably pull these up another day i think they've probably got as far as they can um so then that leaves us so we've got kale still in there we've got um potatoes in here that's still growing um so we might get them through the winter sometime there's chard in that bed over there more chard um, and then so we've got three free there at the moment chard here and then the two behind me have got onions in so I'm going to try and get onion sets in this one fill that with onion sets um, and I've got quite a few garlic cloves to go in so I might put those um, I might put those at the back actually put them up there because I'll use these beds for squash and pumpkins at the end of the next year second half of the season so the garlic should be done by then um, yeah 
and then if there's any beds left I'll weed them cover them up with cardboard and some bricks and get them ready for next year yeah so hope you enjoyed having a little look around the allotment today looking really good lots of chard we can pick um, so we'll pick to harvest some more of that before we go home um, yeah we've got good squash harvest so I hope you enjoyed having a look at what we harvested today and um, let me know if you've got any questions